How's it going there guys? This is Chit and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use lightning grenades. This match of elimination was interesting because one person on my team left after the first round and the other person on my team was a random player so no communication between us. I'm going to walk you through this match and explain my decisions, both good and bad, and how my use of the lightning grenade has helped me with one of my biggest comebacks I've made to date. Hopefully this will help some of you on how to use the lightning grenades effectively. Okay, so for starters, whenever I enter an elimination match by myself, I usually treat it like a 1v3. I usually try not to depend on my random teammate players to pick up their own weight. Also, I really only throw lightning grenades onto the wall, not the floor. I'll throw it onto the floor in a desperate attempt to stop a shotgunner from rushing me, but that's pretty much it. It's enough to take down their shields and prime them enough so that my primary can finish them off. But 90% of the time, I am throwing them against the wall and I've been doing that for a very long time with Titans. I've been a Titan since day one. Okay, so as you can see already, we are down a round and we're also down a player. So not that great of a start. So I decided to take this match a little bit more seriously. I go for the snipe across the map. One Warlock comes out. I cover my left side of the pillar opposite of me, just so in case he decides to head back that way. But then we get flanked on the left and I get taken so low that I just gotta get out of there. Then my teammate goes down, so now I'm by myself. My strategy here is to try and funnel them into this hallway, try to get them to do 1v1s with me rather than all at once. I throw the lightning grenade, primed them, finished them off of my primary. That's the strategy I like to use most of the time, especially if I'm going against multiple players. So I decide to guard the revive, but this guy decides to rush me immediately afterwards and I miss the revive snipe. So I just run away, throw a lightning on the wall there to prime him, and then I take him out. I turn around, because I see them on my radar, and I start taking this guy out, then his buddy comes up right there. So I'm asking to take on two guys at once, which I don't want to do. I wait around the corner, because I know one of the guys is low, and I take him out with a body shot, which turned out to be a headshot. I'm trying to keep this guy away from the revive with a lightning grenade, but it doesn't even touch him. So now I'm just waiting for him to get the revive. I'm going to get the revive snipe and then get the other guy, but I made a maybe not so wise decision here. He threw off my aim assist, so I decided to try and snipe him in the head, didn't connect like I had wanted to. I figured this guy's low enough, so I move in for the melee, but he gets me back, takes me out. Not the way I wanted to end that round. So now we're 0-2, and I'm just trying to make a comeback here with a random player who Decide, it tends to go down pretty fast. So I decide to take left side instead and go down Sniper's Alley to see what I can find there because I didn't want that guy on the left flank to flank us again, which it looks like he attempted, and then I totally botched the snipe. So I was going to snipe him on the stairs here, and then my teammate gets him with his icebreaker. I was like, good going, random. So I just wait there for a minute just to see if anyone else is flanking. And sure enough, somebody pokes their head out, and I use my Suros DIS-47, which, if you want a legendary equivalent of Mida, the Suros DIS-47 is what you're looking for. It's very fast firing, throws off snipers very well, except that time, because uh, I wasn't strafing while I was trying to counter that sniper shot. So, it's up to my friend here, who, again, he looks like he's really trying to get the revive on me, and is very unsuccessful with it. So now we're 0-3. So now the pressure's really piling up on me and I'm feeling it. And it's heavy round. I really don't want them to win this round because then we'll be 0-4. And, and then there, there's just no choice but to win every single round to make that comeback. So I decide to go for low. In which I'll aim down sights to see anybody. I see no one. So then I push up and all of a sudden somebody's right in front of me. But I go for it anyways. Fire rocket off, get the miss. And then I retreat, reload, figure out to pick up some special. Gets a bit into a waiting game right here. So right here I fire off my first rocket, miss, but he's hurt, side fire again, and we end up trading. Luckily though, my teammate actually took out the two other guys during this round. So we actually win that one. So now we're one and three. Good sign. So we got lucky and won the heavy round good sign I'm ready to win the rest of the rounds and you'll start to see how my lightning grenades play into effect in order for this comeback to work this is a bit of a boring part 
Then this guy decides to come around the corner with his sniper, then tries to dodge mine, but I still hit him in the head. Now I have to make sure that they don't get this revive. Unfortunately, they do get the revive. But I'm fast enough to get the revive snipe. So my sniping is getting better throughout this match, finally. I throw a lightning grenade to keep them away from that revive, or at least do damage. My teammate runs in, I figured he's going to need my help, which he does, and I get the kill. Then the last guy comes in, I'm trying to get him, pops a super, I'm like, whoa, and then I go for the fist of panic. And then we win that round. I'm being extra cautious here for any self reses because I always forget who has them and who doesn't. And now we are two and three, this comeback is looking a lot better. So I go off to the left again with the same strategy, hoping somebody comes in. And they do, and I botched the snipe again. I don't get it. I botched a second one. So he comes in with his snipe, try to counter him, and I just say, I'm just going to cancel that. All three of them are down there. I'm just going to relax, reset myself, get a clear head, and grab more special because I'm a special fiend. So now I'm anticipating this left flank here because somebody just popped up on my radar, but nobody shows up. And then somebody's right in front of me. So I decided to run away. I made the mistake of going left. I probably should have went right. I kind of pinned myself here. And I try to trace my steps back and it doesn't help me out and I go down. And my teammate had gone down by a Stormcaller Super. So now we are in it guys. We are two and four. We cannot lose another round. We just can't. If we're gonna make this comeback, we just simply can't. So I go extra, extra hard and and I'm going to play extra careful from here on out. So heading back down to Sniper's Alley, try and get some snipes, and I botch another one. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I botch another one. He's gonna come around with his sniper. I know the other guy's on the stairs, so I just wanna keep an eye on him, make sure he's not rushing. And then the sniper comes out, decide to counter him. My teammate takes out that guy right in front of me who takes a sniper shot at my head and I instinctively moved out of the way. I didn't even know how close he was to hitting me in the head. And I'm just guarding down this hallway here because I know one guy's on the stairs and the other guy's most likely still at the end of the hallway. I decide to try and hit the guy with the lightning grenade but no, no go. But at the very least it keeps him away from me and my buddy. Once I get the snipe on the other end of the hallway, we move in and finish off the last guy. Now, we are three and four. So for this round, you guys already know where I'm going. I'm going to Sniper Alley, and I just want to make sure nobody's flanking on the left anymore. Um, but they don't go that way. I guess they're starting to feel the pressure too. My teammate gets hassled off on the right here. I decide to help him out. I throw a lightning grenade. I hit both of them. As you can see here, two numbers, 122 each. So I'm just hoping, hoping nobody gets out of the way. And boom, there's one kill. Guy goes on the flank left, like I anticipated. I try to throw another lightning grenade, but it wasn't ready. So I fall back, reload. I know that guy's there. My teammate just went down. He's totally chokes on his last word against a scout rifle at close range. I'm ready to snipe. It's a sun singer. And I just go for a fist of panic because I knew I wasn't going to get that snipe. I fall back, throw a lightning grenade up against the wall to prime him, but he gets the revive. They both have shields. They're going to be rushing me. I just opt out of that encounter and said, forget that. I'm going to pick up my teammate here because I'm going to need this help probably. At the very least, bait. <laughs> we end up team firing this guy. He goes down. So now this guy is by himself. He can't resist himself. He goes for the revive outside. So I come back around, anticipating that revive, and there it is, clear headshot for me, and my teammate body shots with the sniper twice on the last guy, and we get that round. It is now four and four, guys. We are making this comeback, and my teammate decides to teabag the enemy team, even though he only got one kill. Uh, I don't condone that. So again, for the final time, I'm going to challenge Sniper's Alley just to make sure we are not being flanked that way. And I'm going to let this play out before I go through the breakdown because the finish to this round is pretty exciting. My teammate does go down after he takes someone out, so it's only 1v2 when it gets to that point. And just watch what happens. Yep, that just happened. So 
To start off, I toss my lightning grenade in one of my favorite spots on this map just to create that barrier and maybe get a hit. I fall back for a second, then I realize somebody might be hurt. So I go in, this guy decides to challenge me, but he walks into my lightning grenade first so he gets primed really easily. And then I easily finish him off with my scout rifle. This second guy is rushing in, looks like he's got a shotgun, so I fall back. And he, see that 122 there? He gets hurt by my lightning grenade, and I decide, hey, I'm gonna finish him off. I face the right, throw my second lightning grenade, so it goes directly towards him, and boom. End of the round, we win. That was one of the biggest comebacks I've done. In fact, one of the guys on the other team immediately leaves after this match. I guess he's so frustrated. And uh, I hope this helped some of you understand uh, some of the uses you could do with lightning grenades especially with armamentarium uh, this is one of the best uses I've had for them if you enjoyed the video be sure to share like and subscribe to my channel for more destiny content my name is chit and I approve this message huh <sighs> now that that's over I can go back to my Netflix fine